Once you've become familiar with the drawing tools in some of the different apps, you are ready to create artifacts to support learning and teaching. One example might be using PowerPoint to design a welcome slide or a holding slide for an online meeting. And by using a mixture of images, typed text and handwritten text, you can really create unique and personalised slides. If you decide you're not so keen on your own handwriting like mine, you can use the selection tool at the top to select the handwriting and then use the options to change ink to text and it will then transform what you've written into a typed text. And the same can be applied using ink to shape to change any shapes that you have handwritten into more perfectly formed shapes. If you prefer to create your slides using Keynote, then you can of course use the Apple Pencil to add information and content to your slides here as well. You are able then to be incredibly specific with the ink marks that you make by zooming in on a particular area of the slide and perhaps using a crayon to fill in some gaps in the letters to create an effect on a particular word. These draw tools really give you an opportunity to be creative and to make unique and personalised artefacts. In this example, if I was making a music poster for perhaps an event or even an announcement, I could mix the pre-existing Microsoft Word icons with my own handwriting and then add some little effects around about the icons just to make them stand out. Another big advantage for teachers is the ability to create handwritten feedback for students. In the OneNote app, if I go to Insert and then Stickers, I can select one of these Doodle frames and use the pencil to scrub out the words that are defaulted into the middle and write my own words. So I'm going to go for Superb Writing and then I'll create that frame and add it to the work. I can then use the other stickers to create a two stars on a wish template and I could then handwrite my specific feedback next to these icons. Adding handwritten feedback can add a human element to the feedback that you're given, which can be very important, especially if you're working in a remote or online environment. Another advantage is that I can then go in and highlight the specific examples of this student using the five senses so that they know exactly what the feedback I've written refers to. So for my second star, this student has used personification in the writing. I'm then going to go in with the highlighter pen and just highlight the examples that I was referring to when I picked out that as a good aspect of this writing. By using the draw tools along with the Apple Pencil, I can use a range of pens and highlighters as well as different colours to offer detailed and specific feedback in a way that feels a little bit more personal because it's handwritten. The Apple Pencil can also be great for when you need to write special or unique characters. So I'm back in the Pages app now and I'm going to demonstrate how you could use it for equations. This could be really important if you were trying to make a resource about equations or even if you're doing a screen record to try and talk a student through the steps involved. So by simply using the pen tool, I'm able to write down the steps involved in solving this equation. If I now tap on this drawing and tap on the paintbrush at the top, I can be given the option to animate this drawing. I can choose the duration and whether I want it to loop or not. And this can be important for trying to explain stages in a process or where there's crucial steps involved. If I then hit play, you'll see the different steps of the equation being solved one by one. You can then export this animated drawing to another app by tapping on the drawing and selecting Share at the top. If you then select Share as Movie, you will see a short progress bar as the movie is prepared and then the option to save the video to your Photos app or you could save it to your files from there if you prefer. You could then add this animation to a presentation in Keynote or PowerPoint.